Hey guys, what's up? Diffuse Monkey here, and today I have a really interesting video for you guys regarding Call of Duty Ghost Extinction Mode. I have a lot of information for you guys, and uh, yeah, so basically, I would ask you guys to leave a like on this video, which really helps me out and motivates me to make more videos. So, hopefully, you guys can uh, like the video, but if you guys don't want to like the video, that's totally fine, and uh, yeah, so also, if you're viewing this on a community channel, Please be helpful and help me reach 1k subscribers by clicking that subscribe button or checking me out in the description. And uh, yeah, so basically, this setting of the Call of Duty Ghost Extinction Mode is after a major world event, and it's basically a man made cause. It's basically a man made Armageddon, if you will. So, uh, yeah, so basically, the characters are going to be warriors, and I'll get into that a bit. But basically, the US government are buried under the ground. And it is actually the the American government are in the bunker, which has been which is called the Ark, what I've been told. And uh, back to the four characters, they're basically these warriors that were in the Ark or the bunker, and they've been sent to you know kind of stop these aliens, I believe, um, which kind of makes sense. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> so the key factor, not the key factor, but to you know any game that the ammunition and basically this is going to be set up in the future. But something's going to happen to make us use current gen weapons. So I know you guys might not believe me at this point because this is kind of the same plot as the campaign, but it kind of would make sense. So possibly ammunition or possible max ammo drops, or they might be called something completely different because I guess they don't want to call anything you know similar to zombies. So I'm guessing there's going to be some you know kind of possible max ammo drops uh, in this kind of game, and hopefully this game mode will kick ass. And by the sounds of things, it does look to be really cool. So the point system, it's not kind of a new point system because we ha haven't had anything like this in the Mathinley Ward game because we, basically we've only had Spec Ops and all that crap. But the point system is going to be totally different to what it is now in Call of Duty Zombies. And um, yeah, so there's also going to be some side quest missions. And so, you know, you can be trying to, you know, stop the aliens and stuff like that, but you can also find, you know, I'm guessing survivors, other survivors as well, and help them out and do some side quests as well. And as I said, most of you guys probably would not believe this, but um, I have a link in the description, and it's a very reliable source, so you can check that in the description, and uh, yeah. So, back to the weapons. This is set into the future, and it will be causing us to use current-gen weapons, but um... The weapons won't be anything to Black Ops 2 styled weapons, so you know, if you guys have played Zombies, I'm sure most of you guys have played Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, have a look at the styled weapons they have in Black Ops 2 Zombies, that will not be anything near to what we have in, you know, this Call of Duty Ghost Extinction mode, so don't expect anything futuristic guns and stuff like that. So that's basically all the information I have for you guys, be sure to check out the link in the description as I said before, and uh, yeah. So I really hope they might be actually adding some DLCs to this Call of Duty Ghost game mode. Hopefully it actually turns out bigger than Zombies. I'm actually wanting it to be bigger than Zombies because most of uh, COD YouTubers have turned to GTA 5 because, you know, they heard about you no know, Zombies being in uh, Call of Duty Ghost. So hopefully this will be a big, big game mode and, you know, kind of compete with Call of Duty Zombies. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys later. Peace.